Welcome everybody to another edition of Historical Geocaster on the Road with Geocaster TM Fudbug from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Today I'm going to go hide two new caches, sorry for that wiggle, on the campus of Southern Adventist University. I am a new student freshman here. It's been going very, very well. Busy, but um, lots of fun. Getting to learn a lot of good material, good stuff. But I just finished with my first test, did very well. Now I'm going to go celebrate by going geocaching. So, um, anyway, come along with me as I have some fun. And you're hearing a train right now. Um, should have mentioned that, like, this whole campus is gridlocked in geocaches. You know, the limit is 528 feet apart. Well, several years before I got into the game, a couple area caches just totally locked it up. Gridlock campus. So, like, you are always within 528 feet of a geocache. Well, um, within the past week or two, last week, two of those caches have opened up. And, um, I... Uh, one opened up about a week ago, the other opened up yesterday afternoon. I'm really hoping to try to get out there first place. Uh, new, two new caches there before anyone else does because my friend Super Nate, who got me into geocaching, he also lives around College Dale and really likes to hide caches too. And so, whenever a hollowed <laughs> little ca gridlock core cache spot on Southern's campus opens up. He and I both try to be the first ones to go get a cache submitted. So I do not know if I will win or not this time. I already own like 40 caches so caching, having a cache isn't really for me the main deal. It's more the um, competition, the competitive, trying to get a cache out there before Super Nate does. So let's see what we can do. There's a thing, duck ponds over there, train going. That's where the old cache was. There's a big sunshine over here. I'm going to try to hide a cache there. Here we come to the front of it. This is one of the main, little main, not entrances, but welcoming signs. Welcome to Southern Adventist University. Oh yeah, I think I'm going to create a geocaching photo challenge here. Okay, that's where the old cache was, as I showed you. It was archived yesterday because the owner, basically it was kind of stolen. There's a, a big flea market around here a few weeks ago. Cache got stolen from in that roundabout. Owner talked with the uh, landscape manager, and they decided that probably wouldn't be the best spot for a cache. But I think that sign over there is just fine of a spot. And so I just hit a cache there. And so it's uh, going to be a small kind of like a, a green I know I got almonds in them I of course I wash out it doesn't smell like food anymore so animals won't get it um a few clues for you and if you find this cache if it is published um, you'll want to come from the back of it and the most important thing is do not go trampling into that bush or shrubbery or whatnot because my best friend's father is in charge of landscape or works at landscape here at Southern and he would not be happy with me for hiding the cache and thus destroying the campus landscape so it is you can reach it within arm's reach you can remain on the grass and still reach this however I do think it will be a bit of a challenge for people since the container blends in very very well anyway I'm going to go on to my next cash spot so we're hopefully hide a cash side check out these these right here let's see how close we can get to them okay this is the collegedale duck pond where the ducks live and also the geese and people come and feed them we're gonna see how close we can get to them 
Okay, well that was kind of fun, but um, anyway, here's a nice panorama. Might get some more ducks over there, but um, this is the Causal Duck Pond. And now, I did get coordinates for that cast over by the southern side. Going to go over to the other place where catch was recently archived, hopefully hide one there. See how closer you can get to these. Very pretty birds. Well, I'm watching my back. Anyway. So here we go. We are going to be going under Absin Pike. Over there, I believe, is the duck pond, and this flows, I believe, is Wolf Tever Creek. And as you walk through here, it is scary. Oh. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Okay, we're on the other side of Apson Pike. We're going to be going through a different, another little tunnel over the road, or under the railroad track. We are now kind of entering, oh, that's pretty there. Entering the Greenway, Codgeville Greenway, stretches from southern all the way over. Gotta be careful in here, there's a lot of water. Um, down to four corners, that main part of the Veterans Park, other part of Collegedale. And, um, so anyway, we are, I'm not going to walk the whole greenway. That's long. It's fun, but it's long. Got through the road tracks. And I see other thing for hiding a cache, another big rule, is you can't be within 150 feet of a railroad track, such as that one. And so as you might imagine, that actually poses quite a challenge to those casters lucky enough to try to hide a cache here around the greenway because the road track runs right next to it. So, saw the building right there, new bathrooms. Sorry for all the shakiness, it's very um, spur of the moment video I'm taking. Um, anyway, so I'm going to have to get out my GPS, figure out what's 150 feet away from the railroad track, see what I can hide around here. Okay, so, um, I am 150 feet away from the railroad tracks. It's a neat river down there, off Tiber Creek. Um, I'm going to go to the old location of this patch. By the way, this is a really cool old bridge you can see here. Can see, I don't know if you can see the studs or the supporting. Just really, really cool. Um, I should probably get a picture there because that is just gorgeous. Oh, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna go over here Oops. to where the old cache used to be. Old cache called Rod and Hidden by Quint 71. Used to be hidden 
ain't down there. I'll have to do some calculations, see if this is a, a good spot for a cache. He said the stump had disintegrated, which it has, so it wasn't a good spot for a cache anymore, but I think for maybe a smaller cache that might work. Okay, so that's road down there. I did hide this, my new cache, hopefully it'll get published. Same exact spot, just under that rock. Yes, I'm giving a spoiler away, but I do not mind doing that since it'll be my cache, I can do that. Beautiful bridge and water right there. It's the same spot as the old cache and the other guy quit 71 and said that this um he archived it because the stump wasn't a good spot for a larger container now. Well, yeah, it probably isn't. But I think for a micro, I just put a little film canister in there. That's gonna be a great spot. So hopefully that'll get published soon. Okay, so I got to hide that cache. Kind of slightly disappointed. Same exact spot as the last cache. Put in my, in my note to the reviewer that I think that spot is still fine for a micro. But I was kind of hoping to do something unique or more special. But as I've looked around this area, there just really isn't a good spot for another cache. With the limitations that we face, such as there are a couple other caches not too far away, over the point 10, but um, 528, but still. And you got the railroad track, and and and. But anyway, at least that'd be a placeholder until uh, until I might be able to think of something more creative. Not going to go down the greenway too far. I thought I'd like to show you something. Oh, a long time ago, must be four months ago, back in April. I um, did a little caching with my friend Mountain Lover Pilot, and we kind of went over the same area that I showed you, just a bit larger. I find some of the campus area caches, and there's. I made a challenge. I thought I'd show you the location of. And uh, this challenge, okay, the railroad track and the river run right next to the greenway. They're all intermingled. So that's a big theme on the greenway is the railroad. And when I get there in just a few seconds, I will show you the challenge location. Here we are. Nice map of the greenway here. And also, a really cool little train signal thingy. And um, I just think that's really awesome. The challenge here, I think like four people have already completed it, is to get your picture at this um, train signal light thing. So. I'm not creating a geocaching challenge because I've already created it. I'm not completing it because I created it. But I'm at the location of one of my geocaching photo challenges. Yay! Okay. Before I leave that, just a little ways away is it's really cool things. It's two benches. One's like a train engine. And the other is like the caboose. And since this is the end of the show, I'm gonna sit on the caboose. And so thank you for coming along with me as I go hide two hopefully new caches around Collegedale and Southern Adventist University. Hope you enjoyed it. Those are a little hot and sweaty. Um, hopefully those will be published soon. I will, if they are, definitely put links to them on the show notes. If not, then um, you will see what life is like as a a geocache hider because sometimes they work out and sometimes they don't but in any case either I'll get a new cache or I'll or there'll be a new cache for me to find so in any case it's a win-win situation and so I'm going to head on back now I need to go up to the other end of campus soon and so um, I'm going to close off this video thank you so much for watching be sure to check out my blog at www.historicalgeocaching.blogspot.com 
For details on this video, links, and just about anything that's history or geocaching related. And as always, this is Geocacher TN Fudbug signing out. I'm having a blast with the past. Do -do. And hey everybody, TN Photobug here. It's been about two days since I shot the video that you just watched. A little update. The Southern Sign Geocache that I had to show you guys, it is published. I'm really, really excited about that because that was definitely my favorite cache out of the two. It's already been FDF, just, just over an hour of being active online. And so I'm really, really excited about that. Here, let me show you the description. See, if you can see, welcome to Southern, yay! And um, then, if you look here, is a map of Southern and the geocaches on campus, and mine is that little star right there. So yay! That is my um, 41st geocache to be published. I'm really, really excited about that. Haven't gotten any word yet on the Tucker Road Rotten Stump uh, geocache. I don't think any reviewer has even touched that, so I don't know if it's published or rejected or temporarily disabled or whatnot, but whatever happens is fine. I'm, the Southern Sign one is a really important one, and hopefully soon I will learn if the, the other cache is published or denied or whatnot. Hey everyone, TM Photobug here again. It's been about three days since I uh, hid those two caches to shot all that video. been about one day since uh, since the Welcome to Southern, that Southern Sign Cache got published, and I told you about that, I did get word this morning from the reviewer, one of the Tennessee Geocache reviewers, about my Tucker Road Rotten Stump Cache. He temporarily disabled it. He said that there is a previously submitted geocache that's not published, that's within 528 feet of my proposed cache, and so thus, since the cache with the lowest and earliest GC number gets preference over those who have later and higher GC numbers. My, I'm kind of out of luck. The reviewer said to check back in two weeks and he, he would try to contact that owner, see if the owner would forego his spot. And I don't know who that is. I suspect it's Supernate. But um, anyway, as I said in the closing scene of my video, even if I don't get that cash spot, it's still a win-win situation. Either I get a new cash there, which is looking unlikely, or I get a new cash to find, which is really, really nice because International Geocaching Day on August 18 is coming up. Not too long, and then I'd have a nice close-by cash to find. And so anyway, I am really happy that my cash that I really want to get published, which is the, um, the Welcome to Southern, the Southern Sign one, did get published. Hey everyone, it's Geocacher TN Photo again. It's been about a week since I since I found out that the um, Tucker Road Rotten Cache that I hid was um, rejected, temporarily disabled. Today I ran into Supernate. I asked him if he had hidden the cache there to see if I could find that out. He said no, but he actually told me that he has previously hidden a puzzle cache final around that location. And that somehow when the original Rotten Cache was submitted and published a few years ago, it was actually kind of went through the cracks that it was too close to his cache. And so anyway, no new cache is coming there, but that's fine. So they got one cache by the Southern Sign that I'm really, really excited about already. Several people, about half a dozen people have found that. And so as in geocache hiding, sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. Got 50-50 this time, that's awesome. And so, um, anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Be sure to check out my blog, as I said, www.historicalgeocaching.blogspot.com for more details on this video and others, as well as any links. And um, also links to a lot more professional videos than this one. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.